Let's play some Trucker's Run Team today. Why not? Do -do -do, bring up the old Trucks book. Click on the Multiplayer tab. Minimize the truck books. Fuck! What's wrong with you people? Right here. This right here. Expected version 1.36.1.40s. You have version 1.37.1.16. This has been going on for over an entire month. I do not understand why Trucker's MP has let this go on for almost two months now. Trucker's MP gives this as their statement. It's time to downgrade. Trucker's MP <clears throat> does not support the latest game version of Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator yet. Check out the following guide on how to downgrade so you can keep playing on multiplayer. So, let me just write. You expect me to downgrade a game that I've paid for, that has updates that I have paid for, that has... Upcoming map content that I will pay for. You expect me to do all this just so I can play your free mod. Okay, that's cute. Continuing on. Back on the 30th of May, let's see. Real operations event will be the best in American Truck Simulator history. Let's click on that and see what it was about. Let's see what that is. Yeah, see, they talk about real operations happened in November on Euro Truck 2, and now they want to do real op real operations for American Truck Simulator. They're showing you the map that they're going to use and everything else. So, that's cute and all, but in order to do this, because it's not updated, maybe, I have to downgrade... From playing with the Mac Anthem, the food grade tanker, the ability for my windows to roll up and down, the new F mod sounds and everything. I have to downgrade from all that and go back to the version that you guys still have to be able to do the real operations. I don't think so, Scooter. I do not think so. I'm not the only one. I'm just tired of it. Back in October of last year, we had to wait almost, almost two and a half months for them to get it right on Trucker's MP. The update for Utah came out back early October, within the first week of October. We weren't able to play on multiplayer with Trucker's MP until mm, second week of December, I believe it was. R really. And the only reason we had to wait for American Truck Simulator, specifically, the only reason we had to wait that long is because Truckers MP is so biased towards the Euro Truck Simulator 2 community. I'm not hating on Euro Truck. I'm going to put that out there. I have both. But my point is, if Truckers MP wants to have a community for both Euro Truck and American Truck, they need to take care of the people in American Truck as soon as humanly possible instead of saying, well, we're just going to wait for, you know, Euro Truck Sim 2 to go ahead and update. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to wait for it because, you know, we, we, it's easier for us to do it that way. No, you guys are just lazy bitches is what you are. Short, sweet, and to the point. You want to update your baby. You want to update the one that you started with first. Even though the game developer is actually putting out their information and they're putting out the updates 
for a game that, yes, you both support, but at the end of the day, they're putting out updates for American Truck first. Why? Because states are a little bit easier to do for SCS than entire countries are. Countries take longer, which is why the head of SCS Software specifically stated in an interview during a live stream, he said that when it comes to the state of Texas, for the American truck fans, Texas is the size of some countries in Euro Truck 2. What I don't understand is why you can't get your heads, you guys at Truckers MP, you need to get your heads right on up out of your asses because we, the American Truck Simulator community, we are getting fed up and pissed off with the way we feel like we've been treated. We have new trucks that we can run. We have new trailers that we can use. And you guys continuously want to kick us in the face and say, nope, sorry, you got to wait till Euro Truck uh, comes out with its update. And then we'll update. No, that's not how you update. That's not how you update. That is not how you update. You update when there's two games concurrently. You don't think for one hot damn second that Rockstar Games, a multi-billion dollar company, you don't think that they're going to sit there and go, well, we were going to release the, the summer DLC for GTA Online, but what we're going to do is we're going to wait until about September when the development team gets the update ready for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, and then we'll update both at the same time. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. You want people to join your Patreon. Let, let, let's take a look at their Patreon, if you don't mind, boys and girls. Let's take a look. You want us to join your Patreon. Let me see, can I find that Patreon? Do, 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 Here we go. Become a patron, right here. Let's click on that link and see where it takes us to. Okay. You want me to give you a dollar... $3, $5. For $5, th th this is this is pathetic. For $5, which is looking like their highest uh looking like their highest tier that they have, which is sad. Um $5 is called their Master Trucker. It's gold. And to join that, you get Rewards in the previous tiers, colored name tag, in-game plus badge next to the name tag, no ads on the website or the forum, and you also get Discord benefits. Now, if I had to guess without knowing their Discord benefits, I would venture a healthy guess that the Discord benefits is you get... Your your name gets to be a different color than other people's whenever you join their Discord. Um, that's cute. For the three dollars a month rewards in previous tier, special Discord role plus color with an access to a hidden channel. So in other words, that's what you're gonna get on the five dollar one as well. You're you're gonna get a a role that specifically says patron, and your name will be specifically colored to match that role. Um, and you also get access to a hidden channel, which, that's cute, but it's, like, for patrons only, and stuff like that. <clears> huh, <throat> oh, let's see. Um, and then it says colored name and badge on the website, colored name and badge on the forum, and, yeah, it says includes Discord perks and whatnot. And for the dollar, special box on your web, on our, on your website profile, Featured on our wall of fame on the website. Whoop the friggin' do. When I ask for patrons, or, or when I join a Patreon, I can join a Patreon and I can actually get perks that are tangible to me. My name on a website in a different color, oh, isn't that cute? I get a special role on the Discord. Oh, that's adorable. That's nothing tangible. So, you're taking my money. And what are you doing with my money besides resting on your laurels? Not doing what you should do. I mean, I get that you guys are, are 
Y'all are quote unquote volunteers. That's fine. You, you, you do it on a volunteer basis. But seriously, guys, if you were to charge, charge $10 a month, something, partner up with SCS, get closer to them, make it to where you guys work more cohesively as a unit because you're providing a service to their game. You're basically doing the work for SCS software. And to the to the fans of American Truck Simulator who love playing in Truckers MP, those of you who are currently a part of, as of this filming of this video, a part of the 6,045 people playing, you people are part of the problem. The Patreons who have supported, you guys are a part of the problem. The problem with Truckers MP is the fact they've gotten so comfortable with the idea that they can take as long as they want to to do whatever they want, and they figure the player base will support it 110%, and they'll put up with our two, possibly three months of downtime. We're already at the end of May. Okay? First week of June, maybe a second week of June, it'll be two months. <clears throat> that Truckers MP's been down. I'm willing to bet, as of the recording of this video, May 30th, 2020, I'm willing to bet you good money that Truckers MP will not be back up and current with the current updates until after Idaho is released, and even then it'll take at least a month for that to happen. So we could be very well looking at three, possibly four months. I don't know about anybody that plays Truckers MP but myself. I, I, I know people who do play it, but I know me personally. I know that when I pay for a product, and I know that I have followed a product for so long, I know that when new stuff comes out for that product, I don't want to backdate my game in order to continue playing on a mod that just can't figure out how to update properly. World of Warcraft charged me $15 a month in a subscription service. And when they charged me $15 a month in a subscription service, if they took the servers down for an hour or so on a Tuesday to do server maintenance, I was good with that. If they came out with a new patch for one of their expansions that required the servers to be down for five or six hours, I was okay with that because it was down for five or six hours. And the content came a-running, and it was fine. Yeah, World of Warcraft, like other games, had its flaws. GTA has its flaws. Red Dead Online, I'm certain, has its flaws. But to put this all in perspective... Okay, GTA Online, free to play. GTA 4 had an online component that was free to play as well. And the thing about it is, if I was to want to play with my friends, and I had all my cool stuff in GTA 5's online components, but the only way I could play with my friends was to backdate and play on a version of the GTA 4 online components. There's no way I'd do it. So this is my cry and my plea. My cry to the fans of Truckers MP, don't go on their Facebook pages. They're not going to reply to that crap. Don't blow up their Twitter feed, you know, because they're not going to give a crap about that. What's going to really hurt them is people stop playing for the time being, and everybody needs to petition. SCS software to either fold in Truckers MP or develop their own multiplayer. I know SCS software is a small company. Folding in Truckers MP seems like the smart idea. I have talked at length with various other players of Truckers MP or ATS and Truckers MP about this. They all side with me. They all think it's stupid. And I think that it's stupid that for us as players to have to backdate. 
There's no way in the world that we should have to do that to play a mod. If the if the cat dang modders who put mods on the Steam Workshop, if they can do their mods and update them in a timely fashion, why can't Truckers MP? Truckers MP is actually being paid by patrons and, and whatnot. I, I guarantee you they've gotten over a thousand dollars in support and, and whatnot. So why can we not have an actual group of people that actually give a rat's ass about the gaming community of the American truck and Euro truck? Why can't we have a, a, a modding community that gives enough of a rat's ass to update their mod in a timely fashion? I'm looking at the website still, and I see 204 team members. 204 team members. So you mean to tell me you got 204 people that that are, are helping out Truckers MP and everything. You're telling me that you've got this number of people, but yet you can't figure out how to update your crap in a timely fashion. I let it go because I'm like, all right, you know, they had a couple of things hit last year at pretty much the same time. The International Lone Star plus Utah plus a few other trailers. So I understood last year it was a bit of a, a bit of a struggle to to do everything. They've given you the Mac Anthem, the trailers, the windows rolling up and down, and the F mod. They've given you all that. And they gave it to you two months ago. And you mean to tell me you still haven't figured out how to do this yet? Come on, Truckers MP, get your heads out of your asses and let's get this deal done. Either that or Figure out how to partner with SCS Software. Say, look, we'll continue running the servers. You just need to give us early access to the stuff so that way we can have the servers updated in a relatively timely fashion. Since there's 204 people and it's more or less a volunteer-based setup, I I I'm willing to be okay with a week or two. I mean, I'm not being real unrealistic. But if you were to partner with SCS Software, realistically, your, t your downtime could go from a week or two down to... A matter of minutes enough to switch over it's not a hard concept it just takes people that give a crap that want to put in the work and the time to actually do the job so that being said this is it for my angry rant you guys know how I feel for those of you who watch my live streams and have been curious why I haven't streamed ATS it's because I've just been stewing on this whole thing for quite some time, and I've been extremely pissed off about Truckers MP because I do enjoy running with my friends. I do enjoy running with other players and real people instead of running with the NPC stuff. That's okay. I don't mind playing by myself. I'm good with that because that's where I started. But at the end of the day, it is kind of nice to get a group of people together and let's just drive across the map and have some fun. Henceforth, why I've been playing a lot of... GTA lately because I like to have fun with my friends and I shouldn't have to backdate and downgrade just to be able to play with my friends. Truckers MP, this one's on you. You guys screwed up. You guys need to own it. Short, sweet, and to the point. And the instant you own that you guys are dragging ass and you're sloughing off at what you're doing, if you don't want to support American Truck Simulator anymore, shut the servers down. Be done with it and move on. If you're going to solely prioritize them ETS2 over ATS, you're not doing the gaming community any favors. You're not doing yourselves any favors. And if anything, all you're doing is making yourselves and players look stupid. And I don't want to look stupid, and I'm not going to look stupid. But I've wasted enough of my life on this particular video and enough of my breath on this particular subject. Truckers MP, fix your shit. Get it right.